All right, guys, uh, just finished some really light training with Ari here. Um, and we're I'm gonna go through something I do from half guard from a pretty common position in the, in the knee cut. I'm actually gonna show you, after this, I'll show you a little clip from, uh, with me using this against a, a world champion, actually, this exact sweep, okay? So, um, Ari has gone for the knee cut, and he's got his knee in the, in the middle and he's controlling my uh, collar and my, and my hand here. Okay? This can be really annoying when we want to play the half guard for a couple of reasons. One, the knee's in the middle, so I can't sit up. If you put his knee down towards the, the side, it can often sit up to get your underhook really low. But when it's in the center, often the best you can do is just a grip like, you know, turn around. And the best you can do from here is like a grip just to, to here, to hold on to it. So go into your position. Good. So we're gonna grip here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna re-grip on uh, on Ari. So he's holding my hand. This is annoying because I can't get up either. Okay. So if he wasn't holding my hand and he had the same position, so yeah, same positioning but without the hand, I can get up on that elbow, and then I will get a deep underhook, or I can like try to work past that leg. But when it's right in the center, that is difficult. So we're gonna get our stand up on this leg. We're gonna get our best grip here and you're gonna re-grip on the, the hand. What this does is it means he can't post with that hand, right? Because if I knock Ari forward and he can post with that hand, then he's gonna keep his position and he gets back to where he was and then he grabs my arm again and that's that's no good. Whereas if I grip this, this hand you know, and I knock him forward, he's gonna have to let go of my shoulder and that will often let me get a, a better underhook, okay? And I can actually kind of sit up there, right? But we're actually gonna do something slightly different. But here, I'm gonna to reach to the to the pants here. I'm gonna take my right foot and step in front of the shin, hooking like this. Okay. As I do that, watch my left leg here. My left knee is gonna come underneath the hips, and I'm gonna bump Ari forward. Okay. So it will it will possibly make him post on the hand. He might not as well. But the other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make this leg light. So I lift with my foot, and I come through to trap both feet. Okay. okay. Sorry. So, so I step from here, I step in front of that leg. If he, po I should say, if he posts forward, so if I make him post forward, usually I, I come up, okay? If he's leaning back enough that I can't post him forward, that will make this leg really light. I push and I trap both feet together, okay? So now I've got the right and the left leg trapped. Once I'm here, I take my left hand through and I'll reach to the far leg. Come around this side, that side. I'll reach behind this leg and grab the far leg. Now Ari's done, yeah? So hard for him to recover here. I'm basically just gonna start getting up. Because if he tries to run, he can't, his right leg's trapped, so he's gonna have to like twist. If he frees his right leg, but which he can't, he has to turn away and run to do that. He's gonna give the back, okay? And he can't free this left leg either, okay? So basically gonna get up, and I'll be chasing the back. Usually they'll concede a sweep, yeah. And that's what happens in this match that, that you see. So again, so here, I'm gonna, I was stuck in the center, just get the best grip you can onto the, to the side of the pants towards and under the hip. Okay? Step your right foot in front of the chin, left knee under the hips, okay? So you have to drop this under. Now I can bump him forward. If he posts, I get up with my underhook and we do our regular underhook test. If he's leaning back enough that I can't make him post, so it's like, yeah, here, then by trying to bump, it's gonna make this leg light. I bump, lift, and I trap that far leg. Now I reach through, grab the pants, get up, and sweep. Okay. All right, so here, I, this is actually the match I was referring to, but I got it wrong. Uh, I didn't use that exact sequence, but I, if you see here, I do use my right hand to grab the far leg to get up. So I'm gonna show you a different match where I do use the sequence that I uh, showed. Okay, so this was me against Izaki Bahienzi uh, in 2017. Okay, so here's me at the World Championships two years ago. Um, and you can see I've, this, my opponent's had his knee in the middle and I've managed to trap both of his legs now. So I use that same bump forward that I showed in the video uh, it takes me a little while to get that grip on the far leg just because I have to push his 
his knee, that, his original knee, back in to the inside. Okay, now I've got that far leg, and I use that to come on top. My opponent then turtles, and I, and I chase him down to, to try to get the back. Um, I think we actually ran out of bounds in this sequence in the end, so I didn't actually consolidate the back before uh, and, and actually get any points for this sequence, but you'll get the, the gist of it from watching that. Alright guys, if you like that video on half guard, you can check out a lot of half guard if you watch my instructional, the half guard anthology available through the link below. If you use that link, I get an extra cut of it, so please do that.